Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Lonely Things Demo. Oh, it's a demo. I thought it was a full game when I downloaded it. This is a free horror game on Itch.io. It actually came out a couple months ago, but I just never played it. So here we are, we're gonna check it out. Let's go ahead and begin. Watch introduction, of course. Lay it on me. I'd been driving for so long that I couldn't remember where I was going. Hmm. That's a problem. The roads all looked the same. The shadows out there never got any closer. It seemed like the night would never end if I just kept on going. It's not how time works, but okay. All I wanted was a place to sleep, but it had been hours since I'd even seen a gas station. I was about to pass out at the wheel when something began to take shape ahead. A building. Couldn't believe my luck. It looked like a hotel. Begin. So we're just gonna stay at this place? Not even gonna check the Yelp reviews, huh? What does this guy have against using his phone? You got apps for a reason. Whatever, let's go in. Ah, perfect. A dark hotel with fog in the lobby. This looks like a five-star place to me. And also, carpet only on specific places in the lobby. Don't want to spend too much money carpeting the whole thing. It looks like dozens of people died on this carpet. Are these blood stains? Okay, well, let's just talk to this thing over here. Hi. Oh, it's a woman. She says, welcome. Oh, you poor thing. You look about ready to drop. You want a room? Well, I already did the books for tonight. I suppose there isn't any place else for you to go out here, though. Go ahead up to room 12. We can settle up in the morning. We're gonna settle up! And I got a room 12 key. Can I ding this? I wanna ding it. You're not gonna let me ding it? Can I go back here? Probably not allowed, huh? All right, that's fine. Where's the rest of you, by the way? All I see is your neck and your face. Okay, let's go up to room 12, I guess. You know, the way things are textured really reminds me of the Timor developer. The same guy, is it? Uh, th that's locked. Where's room 12 exactly? Hang on. At least I can zoom around up here. One of those games that lets you sprint. And let's see, we lasted how long? Uh, two minutes? Yeah, this is about where I'd turn back. Go back to my car. Boarded up room. Oh, okay, not room eight. Uh, room 12, here it is. Let me in. We're just gonna go to sleep. Are there any light switches in this place? Whoa! No door on the bathroom? Oh. Okay, open? There's nothing in the medicine cabinet, of course. Wow. Great. I guess it'll do for tonight. Just for emergency purposes. There is someone. There is someone is in your room. There's someone in my room. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. The bar is open. Grace wants some company. Your car is gone now. That's a whole lot of info to dump on me all at once. Hey, by the way, your car is gone. Also, some lady named Grace wants some company. How's that my problem? She wants some company. Doesn't she have any friends? Why do I have to be Grace's friend? There's fog in the hallways. Can I go into room eight? <gasps> I can! Wait, what's in here? Why did I go into room eight? I'm listening in the vents. Man's voice, hmm? Is someone there? I've got myself stuck in here somewhere. Can't find a way out. It's hopeless, I'm afraid. I should just accept reality. Things around here have gotten worse lately. Yeah, if you're stuck in between the walls, 
I would imagine things have gotten a lot worse. So come back and talk to me sometimes, okay? It takes my mind off the noises. Not my problem, man. This is all a dream sequence, it's gotta be. Okay, let's go out to the lobby. Apparently Grace wants some company. Who's that? There's someone with a mask on. It's the Noir from Welcome to the Game. They found me at last. Oh shit, turn your back, wait 30 seconds. The woman at the desk is gone. Oh, he's not wearing a mask. That's just his face. That's unfortunate. Evening. Looks like something's troubling you. Yeah, it's the man with evil yellow eyes standing in the hallway. Or in the lobby, rather. Not the hallway. Your car was stolen? Wow, I guess that makes you stranded, huh? I'll keep an ear out for you. It's Joe, by the way. I've got a lot on my mind myself. I'm waiting on a special lady. No one asked you, Joe. Your problems are your own. Huh? You know Grace? A note left in your room, huh? Grace does strange things sometimes, but she's an honest woman. Maybe you should try asking the manager about your car, although... Although what? Although what? Where's the manager? Let me speak to the manager. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's good. The bar's now open, apparently. Can I just leave? Oh, I can't. I can just walk outside. My car's gone, though. Weird. Okay, I'm going back inside. Let's, let's go to the bar. Is this it? By the way, does anyone own a flashlight that I can have? Grace, you look exactly like Joe. Oh, it is Joe. How'd you beat me here? My special lady's not here. She's usually here by now, in the corner table over there. She looks so beautiful in candlelight. I had a bottle of Sleepy Owl for her. I thought she might even let me sit with her. But the manager, that creep, he took it from me. Side quest time. Retrieve Joe's Sleepy Owl. At least, it must have been him. He was hanging around outside my room upstairs earlier. Said he was fixing the lights. What a bunch of bull. Nothing ever gets fixed around here. Okay, Joe. Listen, I appreciate that you've got lots of problems, but... Nothing to light it with. Uh... Okay, so it's a candle. So we light the candle... With... Something that we get... Somewhere else, I'm guessing. Okay, let's leave. Joe, are you still here? He's not in the lobby anymore. Okay. Good. I'm alone. Listen, I'm really gonna need a flashlight if this is gonna... ...continue. Huh? Oh! Hello! I got a flashlight. Check it out. Ah! We got it. This room says private, but we're going in because we're rebels. Lawbreakers. Troublemakers. What? Um, wrong room, I think. Is this Grace? What's up? Uh... Well, yeah, hello. Who the hell are you? I don't know anything about a stolen car. Talk to Terrence. He's the manager. It's not my job. You'll probably find him somewhere else. You'll probably find him somewhere else. So you're saying there's a chance he's in here. So get out of here already. Hang on, I'm gonna snoop around your room a little bit more. Hey, me again. Thanks for not telling Dad I've been writing. Not much has changed since I wrote last time. I pretty much clean rooms and sit around listening to music all day. Sometimes stuff happens. You get some real freaks out here. I found this plant or something under the bed when I was cleaning room one today. It wasn't the grossest thing I've found in that drunk lady's room, but it's probably the weirdest. It moved. Never seen a plant do that before. Never seen a plant move. Never seen a Venus flytrap. Sometimes they move. They're living things, you know. I showed it to Terrence and he went all quiet. Took it from me. 
and ran off to his office. Hasn't come out since. The guy is old. The old guy is losing his mind ever since his wife disappeared. I'll tell you about that another time. I've been finding him talking to himself, wandering around the halls in the middle of the night. I wonder what he thinks I'm doing. It's been three months now since that piece of shit dumped me by the side of the road. Terrence gave me a good deal, so I don't have to pay for much. Another few de uh, weeks and I'll have enough to move to the city. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there though. I'm actually starting to kind of like this place. Don't ask me why. All right again soon. Hope you still aren't sick. Jane. Okay, Jane. Listen, since you apparently live in this freaking hotel, why don't you just come up and talk to your friend? Huh? Is this Jane? Oh, this is Jane. I thought I told you to go away. The fucking people in this place. Why, you, you hate him? By the way, you look like Joe put on a wig. Can't turn off the... Wow, a dead plant. Looks like you got a lot going on here. Better leave you to it. <laughs> See, uh... What was that? Oh, it was the soundtrack. Oh my god. They do have light switches. They don't work, though. Huh? Yeah, cool. You know, I roasted her about the Venus flytrap, but like, yeah, plants normally don't move. Some kind of trick to it? Well, it's red. Maybe we turn it off. Okay, wait, maybe we turn them both off. Let me turn this one on. Wait. Now the office is lit up in red. That means it's gonna be a scary room. What's going on here? Hallway's red too. What a crap office! What? Seriously, this texture is everywhere. They covered like everything in that texture. Room 9 key added to inventory. Sleepy Owl added to inventory. I was kidding about g retrieving Joe's drink, but I guess that was something we could do? Damages log. 29th of September. Room 9, piss bed. Room 1, smoking in room, spilled alcohol. Room 12, not in use. That's what we stayed in. 30th of September. Room 1, found another one of those plants in the wardrobe. Can't identify it. Maybe we've got some kind of investigation. 1st October. Room 5, blood and sink. Maybe shaving accident. Cleaned, no charge. Wow, this is fascinating. 2nd October. Room 1 and Room 5 are having an affair? How would you know that, you private investigator? Wandering the halls at all hours making noise. And of course, room one's the one that found the plant. Jane, right? Room five. Huh. Let's see, uh, I found the salesman passed out in the restaurant bathroom earlier. He was unintelligible. Pathetic. She has a type. They're dragging this place into the swamp. 3rd October, room 3, another red plant, clogging the toilet this time. What a smell. Lauren said she'd take care of it. I won't argue. Okay. So is this the manager's diary? Er... What? It's that red plant. Okay. Grace likes this, so should I just go give it to Grace? I won't, I won't even give it to Joe. I'll just give it straight to her. Go straight to the source, man. Room eight. Is that room nine? This is room nine. Oh shit, why am I doing this? By the way. I got a lighter so I can light the candle. By where Joe is creepily waiting in the bar. None of these bathrooms have doors. That's a problem. Okay. Let's go. Game's kind of creepy. I don't mind it so far. I know I'm like, I'm like roasting it and stuff, but it's all just good fun, guys. I lit it. 
check it out. My special laser down here. Oh. I placed it. Oh, you're here! Oh. Yeah, let's go on a date with her. Right in front of Joe. It'll be funny. Sit down. Hi, Grace. Have you been crying? That's my favorite drink, how did you know? Just a feeling. Just a gut feeling. I'm Grace. Someone stole your car, huh? Well, the good news is that means you can have a drink with me. What good news? That's kind of a cocky thing to say. Maybe not here, though. It's a little... crowded. We could go up to my room. Here's the key. I'm in room one. Oh. It's right above us. You haven't been there before, right? No, of course. Sorry, ignore me. Just meet me there in a little while, okay? I don't know if the manager asks how you're doing, or what you're doing. Don't mention me. He has ideas about how people should behave. Bye, Grace. Apparently, she was summoned by the drink. The table. I thought the table disappeared. And what do you think of that, Joe? You think I didn't hear that? So you think you're just going to swoop... Swoop in on my special lady right in front of me, huh? The game minimized, I don't know why. Yeah, that's what I do think, Joe. That's what's happening. That's what happened. And now, I'm going up to her room. What are you gonna do about it? Who the fuck do you think you are? Uh, I'm a winner, and you're a loser, Joe. Loser! That's right, I said it. See ya, ha! I'm gonna go have some fun with Grace. Grace is cool, you're a loser. What's, where's room one? Oh, it's this one. Let's go inside. Hey, Grace. You don't appear to be here. Uh, you like to drink, it seems. Oh, let's read this. I'm sorry to slip a note into your door like this, but why won't you talk to me anymore? This has to be from Joe. That night a few weeks ago, I told you I loved you, and you said you loved me too. Now you act like you don't even remember. I can't stand seeing you in the bar talking to those other men. They're all just trying to take advantage of you, you know? I'll keep my distance like you asked, but I don't want you to think I've forgotten about you, Grace. I know you're in some kind of trouble. Is it Terrence? He's been hanging around outside your room. Yeah, you know he manages the place. Kind of his job to be outside people's rooms. Sometimes. You think he's outside everyone's room, Joe? Paranoid. Shut the fuck up. Maybe that's why you've been so distant. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out. I think the last person she wants to keep an eye out for her is you, Joe. Alright. What's going on in here? Oh. Grace? Question marks? Said I fell down. What? What? Wait, go? Wait, what? I didn't even realize, hang on. Oh, I didn't even see that. I don't know how I didn't see that. Wow. Yeah, don't think I didn't see that. You need to visit a dentist or something, buddy. What the heck, man? Oh, there's another... Down here. Place. Need something to put here. What would I put there? Uh, we'll come back to this, I guess. What? Whose bathroom is this? Joe! She's dead. Yes, astute observation. She is dead. Why did she do that? Oh! The red plant's growing out of her face! It won't be long now. It's coming for me. I've been like this my whole life. 
Never knew any other way to be. The truth is, I just hate it all. There's no pain, no trauma. There's just nothing I'd rather be than a quiet drunk. Nobody ever really wanted to understand that. At least here, people never bothered me. Until you, Joe. You just won't leave me alone, so I'm not going to pretend anymore. The only way out is down. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go. Okay, I think I know what to do with this route. Yeah, you're still here. Weird... Flippin' dummy thing, whatever you are. Okay. Here, it's easy to miss. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? Are these... Oh. It's a bunch of these guys. They're all looking towards the red door. Knock. Knock, please. This isn't the place for you. What? That's the end. You can't end it there! Thank you very much for playing, and please keep an eye out for the full game, which will be released later in 2018. Damn it! I was actually getting into that. Crap. Look, there's a person staying under the blue light by the hotel. So I'm gonna say this, for those of you that have followed my channel for a long time and watched me play all five of the Timor games, this reminds me of, like, if the Timor dev made something worthwhile. Like, if they made something good, this is what it reminds me of. That, that, that spot at the end where the, all those dudes with the bad teeth were standing around. That was something straight out of a Timor game. Except, it was fine. <laughs> this also, it, it reminds me of, like, if Silvio and Like Clay had a baby. <laughs> Which, if you haven't seen Light Clay or Silvio, uh, two very underrated indie horror games that I've uh, played on the channel. I think very few other people have covered them. But, uh, yeah, this wasn't bad. I was actually kind of getting into it. It- I like... stuff that... is kind of surreal. I think it's much more interesting. Like, I recently played that game Close Your Eyes. And I really liked that one, just because it did weird, bizarre little sequences every now and then. And it wasn't just like a linear, serious story experience. Like, obviously there's a story to this game, but the way it's told is interesting. It's like you're time skipping over the place and, you know, you put the drink down the table, Grace apparates into existence. When you're done with the date, she disappears. You go to her room, find her down the floor, she disappears. The room's trash. There's a ladder that leads down to an underground tunnel with a weird thing freaking out in the corner. It's cool. Um, I want to play the full thing. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So, I'm trying to think of what else to say about it. I mean, it's... I. I wouldn't say it's straight up horror in in terms of genre. I would say it's like a surreal mystery, more like. But I guess I mean it has plenty of horror elements to it. Yeah, it's it's cool though. I I liked it. I wanna I wanna find out what happens. What happens to Joe? Is Joe gonna die? Joe's gotta die. What's that thing down there in the in the cavern? The thing that says. We don't belong there. Who the hell does it think it is? Talking to us like that. It had a red face though. So, that's gonna look good in the thumbnail. Okay, yeah, let me know what you thought about the Lonely Things demo 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.